And uh, the biggest thing I'd like to talk about, I want to take a minute or two, I want to talk about fireworks. Um, <clears throat> late last year, as, as I know the trustees are aware, but for the audience, the Ohio law regarding fireworks changed. Uh, I believe it was last November, November of 21. New rules go into effect on July 1st of this year. Um, they've, they've allowed for a lot more holidays in which fireworks are permitted. Uh, the new law allows Memorial Day weekend, Labor Day weekend, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day, in addition to extending 4th of July to the 3rd, 4th, 5th. I think Juneteenth is in there, and there's one or two other uh, special days throughout the year where fireworks uh, are allowed. Um, so the new rules, and, and the biggest telling thing, uh, the new rules allow for quite frankly, large amounts of fireworks to be sold and, or so, stored and sold in, uh, in local retail establishments. Um, I know that's a concern of the Fire Prevention Bureau, um, and, but the new law gives local governments the ability to opt out of the new law and make rules that are more restrictive. Currently here in Concord Township, Lake County, we do not permit firework, the discharge of fireworks Obviously, with the, with the exception of professional companies for sanctioned events, such as at the end of our community days, uh, I believe Quail Hollow Country Club puts on a sanctioned event that's put on by a professional company that works with the fire department to do those things. Um, I had a lot of discussions with the fire department leadership, and I appreciate them because they, they kind of took the lead on this. And, and I believe the best course of action is to opt out of the new law and leave things the way they are, which is to prohibit the, the discharge of fire, amateur fireworks, for lack of a better term, within the uh, township. Uh, I know that the fire chief and fire leadership is also in favor of opting out. Um, we've worked with the law director, primarily uh, deputy chief, and there's a resolution that's been drafted by, by legal um, and I'm hoping to get that placed on the agenda for our next meeting on June 15th for trustees consideration and hopefully a favorable vote. But I, I wanted you to be aware of, of the upcoming proposal. Um, we, we have received a few calls and the, the few calls that I've received uh, have asked for fireworks to remain prohibited in the township. So I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have and I know uh, chief, the deputy chiefs, uh, fire prevention are also available should the trustees have any questions regarding this. But I expect this and hope it'll be on uh, the next meeting's agenda so that we can get it passed before the new law goes into effect. Since there's all this talk of fireworks, just kind of uh, understand maybe from, from your viewpoint and what, what are some of the implications that you think are. Sure. Um, you know, I had some lengthy discussion with Chief Sable and Deputy Chief Teriaco when the um, new law came out and how we were going to handle that. We, I've also had significant um, discussion with uh, Lake County Chiefs of Police as far as their government entities regarding the fireworks um, changes. And primarily, I think the biggest concerns were, um, obviously, when you have more days that are allowed fireworks and things of that nature, there's more occurrences of, of safety concerns and, and issues um, uh, happening. So that's that the biggest issue was, you know, the safety concerns as well as, you know, disturb, disturbances in neighborhoods and things of that nature. So there's added, um, added disturbances um, when there's more fireworks going off throughout the year. Um, when we had discussion at the chiefs, police meeting, the majority of the chiefs decided to recommend to their government entities to opt out, which is what they're doing as far as opting out of the law and not opting in and just um, keeping it as it is as far as, you know, the 4th of July. Um, basically, for the reasons I stated, you know, there's, you know, several instances, you know, nationally and in, in Ohio every year where safety is a concern when, when people are discharging fireworks and the propensity for, you know, injury and or serious injury is, is much greater. So we, we don't want to see that. And then you have the issue as far as, you know, retail outlets within communities being able to store those fireworks and how are they stored and, 
and, and you know there's a concern for that. So most entities have opted out. You know I've recommended uh, to, to my government entity where I serve in a law enforcement capacity to opt out, and you know I, I and based on the recommendation of Deputy Chief and Chief, I think it's in the best interest of, of Concord to opt out also. Yeah, I I, I think. Um we had a good conversation about this on Friday and when Chief talked about you know, the ability to sell in the store, that was kind of a pushing point. But, you know, we get these phone calls every every holiday, every summer. You know, people are shooting, call the sheriff, get them over. You know, and, and as we know, we talk about law enforcement control in the community. You know, we have our deputies, but it's a holiday. It's weekends a lot of times. There's things going on. The last thing, you know, they really have. And I think you know, adding to that, you know, it's just going to make it more adding to the, the frequency of it. I mean, I, I suspect people are going to think that, oh, geez, I wonder how many people are going to realize the local municipality has to adopt it and just think, hey, the state did this thing. So I think we're in for a bit of a, potentially, you know, there's going to be some looser activity with it. And I don't right. I don't see making it any more, any worse, I suppose. Um, hate to have to put rules in place, but you know, it's, I think I, I agree with Carl, safety is important. And, um, but I think I, I agree with the administrator's recommendation. Yeah, you know, we, we get a lot of calls on the 4th of July when it seems like that's the one day you should be, be allowed to enjoy fireworks. I think, you know, we're still going to have commercial fireworks where it's done safely. It's done in a manner that would be a little, you know, more proving of. Um, and, and, of course, everyone worries about their dogs and the noise. And <laughs> so, um, but... It'll be interesting to, to kind of see, but it does sound like most of the communities are opting out for the safety reasons, yes. the storage reasons, and all that. So. Okay, well, more to come.